it's all in the heart family it's all in the heart as I'm connecting to this divine expression of myself aka the Sun you know I'm realizing more and more and more and I, as I become more in tune you know it's, it's just anyway so let's talk about part of this awakening journey and why a lot of us are not really tapping in to our true potential right because this is a 3d reality this is a 3d matrix that we're in right and the level of awareness that's on this planet is survival is survival and the survival has to do with the first three chakra right the root chakra the sacral chakra and the solar plex chakra those are the first three chakra and as we move beyond those chakras we get into the heart right and the heart is the key right that's one of the reason why it's the middle of the seventh chakra it's the fourth chakra the heart is the key right is what unlock the upper three chakras right and because we're in this this survival matrix right we no longer live out of the heart space this is all about me myself and I me myself and I that's the mentality of the 99% right the 99% that's the mentality you know everybody's stuck in survival mode and once we're stuck in survival mode we're not physically mature nor spiritually mature therefore we cannot receive true power because we will abuse it in order to gain more and more and more and more and more and more and more because it's a me myself and I world right and until we move out of of this 3d reality and we go beyond fifth and sixth and however many more dimensions you know dimension is infinite right but as we move out of this 3d matrix we become powerful we unlock certain potentials to the point where you can manipulate energies right you can move objects you can teleport you can do all of these stuff these are our god-given abilities that's been stripped from us right but it has to do with stripping in a bad way and not so much in a bad way because we choose to come here to re go over this process to experience different levels of of physical reality right because if if all of these energies were not stripped or we did not forget then we would have be here everybody would have been doing great things right this was a thing in the past where we used to do great things and it was normal but now we just forget but anyway don't want to don't want to move off topic but um as we receive these powers right we're gonna want to use it for bad and that's one of the main reason why a lot of like people that seeking spiritual enlightenment awakening tapping into accessing the third eye etc a lot of us we're not gonna get there because we need to purify the heart first it it starts with the heart we need to purify the heart first and then even we might be trying our best to move into the heart space right but because of this matrix anybody's trying to live an authentic life that does not fit the global narrative they're usually cast aside right and any type of shame guilt deceit any type of these these um, frequencies that we hold on to it literally slows down the art from um, from functioning effectively right and that's what you call and that's that is the true the truest version of sinning is not living in your true purpose and your true purpose is simply just being authentic with yourself just 
if you want to express yourself however way you want to express yourself just just being honest with yourself and just do that and because most of us don't do that every time we move away from ourselves right we are literally sinning against ourselves right because god don't really judge that's not god place to judge god give us everything that we need god does not really judge but that's again for another topic so as we feel forced to live a false life right our heart our thymus gland it starts to shrink and shrink and shrink and shrink and shrink like a child right? a child a child does not care a child does not understand that it have to fit into to a particular space right so when you're young your thymus gland your heart space is fully open but as you get older and older and older living a false life sinning against yourself right this 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 sacred energy this key this key to becoming your god self starts to to shrink and it's part of the reason the main part of the reason why a lot of us are not seeking true enlightenment not seeking we're not receiving we're not accessing true awareness because the 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 key right is not working the heart space is not working right it's not working effectively and ways that we can try to open the heart space first it got to start it starts with forgiving of self you got to forgive yourself because all is self and if you don't forgive yourself people will come into your life and cause bare chaos and then you will see people coming to do you stuff and then you hold anything against people but all of these things is just here to teach us but forgive yourself forgive yourself that's the key and then as you start to see people see everybody as a reflection of yourself yeah the sun is going down now but i'm gonna stand up and see if i can get some more of it see everybody and everything as a reflection of yourself because everything is a reflection of yourself right nothing exists outside of self or else you would not be able to see it and if you can't see it it does not matter it does not exist again if you can't see it it does not exist in your world it does not exist but it might exist in my world because i can see it the eyes is what help us to objectify life so if i can see it it means something to me if you can't see it it can't mean nothing to you again right but that can go on to many levels but see everybody as a version of yourself and you want to do what to yourself you want to love yourself so then you love everybody you love everybody you send out loving healing energy to everybody even if they do you something just understand that version of you is hurting only hurt people hurt people right practice something called compassionate action so just don't feel sorry for people do something for them you know it could be as simple as you know stopping slowing down traffic so this old man or woman can pass or complimenting somebody that's on the road maybe cleaning the road you know what i mean make everybody feel special and these are tools these are tools that send out frequencies back to the source and let the source know you're moving back into the heart space and as you keep moving on to the heart space moving into the heart space moving and moving and moving right you start to radiate your whole aura will start to change and as your aura start to change like like source you you now will basically start to separate yourself from the low people that are surviving um in the low frequency and that low survival state right and then you'll find life will become easy you'll be able to be chill you know calm in the in the eyes of the storm i mean it is what it is it's easier said than done but it's very simple get out of that get out of that egoic that survival mode man because this new energy is not about survival right we, we passed the stage now it's about love it's about love it's about compassionate action it's about oneness and as we move into these energies life will become better anyway that was a divine message from source you know when i'm outside chilling with the sun i'm inspired you know i usually put a lot of stuff down in my phone when i'm out here but i'm thinking i'm gonna start bring a book when i'm coming out in the sun right because i get a lot of information out here 
And anyway, family, one love, tuning out. <laughs>